Yoga Sutra 1.4 is Vritti Svarupan Itratra. So otherwise, the seer identifies with the fluctuations. So basically, this is just going to tell us what is going to happen if we aren't practicing yoga. And what's going to happen if we're not practicing yoga is that we start to become the chaos, okay? So the world is very chaotic. And if we're not continuing to come back to our yoga practice, come back to the truth, come back to the present moment, come back to love, connect, come back to all these energies, then we are going to identify with the chaos around us. So we're going to connect with the vrittis, the mental fluctuations. And in this state, our thoughts and our ego are going to take over. We're going to start to believe that all of our thoughts and our feelings and experiences are real. And this is a connection to the temporary. This is connecting to all the things changing in the world around us and think they define us, right? Thinking that our clothes... Um, define who we are, thinking that our objects in our house define who we are. And our sense of self is basically becoming really distorted by all of this, by the external world, um, by the thoughts in our head. And it's basically pulling us away from our inner peace, pulling us away from our wisdom. And in this state of confusion, we become super reactive. So there's lots of feelings happening. There's lots of thoughts happening. There's lots of things happening in the world around us. And we get triggered. And this is why we lash out. This is why we get really angry at our partners. This is why we get upset when things don't go our way. And this is basically going to lead us to suffering. And so yoga is teaching us that all of these fluctuations of the mind are all temporary. And if we connect with them, this is just going to make us suffer. And so the practice is to step back and keep watching these thoughts, watching these fluctuations, without becoming attached to them. So I'm just wondering if you can identify with times in your life when you felt strongly connected to your thoughts and emotions. And is there a way that you can create space between these fluctuations and between your true self? So give me a comment on the video below if you resonate with this concept, if you connect with it, if you've ever experienced it. And if you are enjoying learning about the Yoga Sutras, I have a advanced Yoga Sutra study course that I teach live on Zoom that I would love to have you join and be a part of. I also do one-on-one -on -one Sutra study coaching for people that want to go really in-depth one-on-one with a teacher. So I'm going to put the links to the videos below. I would love to connect with you in real life and share the love of yoga with you.